In this video, I'm sharing with you some super simple DIYs using some items from Target Dollar Spot. They have out some cute little farmhouse uh, decor right now in the Target Dollar Spot, so make sure you stay tuned to see how I put that together. So Target Dollar Spot is putting out some beautiful little farmhouse decor pieces right now and they are very inexpensive. I love all the items uh, that I saw out there. I didn't actually get to get any footage. Um, it was just we went on a Saturday at lunchtime and it was so crowded. I just didn't feel comfortable pulling out my camera and I don't even know if there was a lot of stuff left. People were like hovering at that Target dollar spot. Uh, but anyways, I did pick up a few things that I did not use in my uh, DIYs today. But I wanted to go ahead and share with you all. Uh, they have a lot of the back to school stuff out right now and they have the words create and inspire and hopefully possibly one day in the near future, maybe sooner than later, I absolutely need a crafting studio or a craft room. So maybe that's in the works, but um, I picked these up. I thought they would be really pretty, painted different colors, maybe more of a neutral color. Uh, but I thought these would be so cute hanging up in a craft room. And then like I said, they have a lot of farmhouse stuff out right now. I picked up this cute little pantry sign. This was $3, but it's a really nice um, kind of thick little tin sign. They had some with some other sayings. And then I also picked up one of these little boxwood wreaths. This was the last one that was left and it was $3. Um, I forgot to tell you the signs, the Create and Inspire signs were $3 as well. But I used this in a lot of tutorials last year, so um, especially for fall, I think. So uh, make sure that you do pick these up if you see them because they are gone super fast. And then nothing to do with actually uh, my DIYs or crafts. I just picked up this little unicorn water bottle uh, for my daughter. And then I also picked up some of the Mrs. Meyer spray in lavender and basil because I needed some of this ASAP. So I think everything else that I got I actually used in the DIYs. So let's get on and show you all how I took some of my Target Dollar Spot uh, items and turned them into some cute farmhouse decor to place around the house. For the first DIY I'm going to be working on, I picked up these metal trays. These are such a good deal. They are only $3 right now at Target Dollar Spot. And I know trays like this can get very expensive at more high-end stores. And they are really cute as they are. I just wanted to fix them up a little bit more to fit into my farmhouse decor. But like I say, you can leave these as they are. They also have these beautiful, I was so excited to find these decorative paper rolls. Um, they actually look like real wood. And there is a ton on the roll you can see. I think it's actually over 20 feet of paper on these rolls and they are only $3 a piece. They were like in the back to school section. So I had to grab some of these. These will be perfect for DIYs. But I wanted to be able to add a little wood bottom into this tray. This is a super simple fix. Um, I personally, I didn't like how reflective it was down in the bottom of that tray. I did try to put some items in it, and I just didn't like how everything reflected off of there. I just think it made it look kind of cluttered in there. So by adding this flat little bottom, it just gave it more of the wood tones that will go into my decor. Uh, the easiest way that I could find to get this paper down in there was to just cut a piece that kind of fit down in there and then I just took my pencil and I um, traced around the edges and it made it a little indention so I would know exactly where to cut. To attach this down into the bottom of the tray, I do just cover the tray in some of my Mod Podge and then I go ahead and add a couple extra layers of Mod Podge over the paper and it's that simple to give this cute little inexpensive tray a nice little farmhouse update. And then my Mod Podge dried clear so it gave it this shiny little polished look. I styled this with some of those cute little Dollar Tree accent balls, a little TJ Maxx planner, and then this cute little candle that I picked up from Big Lots. But I thought it was super cute, a cute little update to completely change this tray. Next, I'm using the white tray from Target Dollar Spot, and this was even more simple than the first tray. And all I am doing is taking a little bit of my black apple barrel paint and then a sponge brush, and then I am just making this look like enamelware. 
um, that I see all the time. I have just never made anything like that. So it's definitely something that I want to start incorporating into my decor. I think it is beautiful little pieces, uh, but this is so simple. You could even do this with a permanent marker or a paint marker if you had it, but I just wanted to go around the top and the bottom of this tray and then add in some little distressed places around the front and the sides. And that is all I ended up doing to it. This was so super simple. It just took a couple minutes and after it was dried, it was completely finished. I styled this with a black little wedding lantern from Walmart and then everything else came from Dollar Tree. But I thought this looked really cute and a cute little addition to my farmhouse decor. The next thing that I picked up to give a makeover was this little wood trivet. It definitely says not a cutting board. Um, that's what I wanted to call it. But this is for decorative purposes only. But it is really cute on this side. It has all the herbs on there. And I do like the green color. I don't have a lot of green in my house. But I do like little pops of color here and there. So I decided to go ahead and leave the green. But I am just going to flip this over and be decorating the back side. Um, I know I talk about how it drives me crazy on the back of items leaving the back. But, but I really did like the little herb side. So I think I am going to leave it so that I can flip this around later if I want to. So I am going to be using some of my Dollar Tree wooden letters. And I wanted the word Farm Fresh on here. So I picked out the wood letters that I needed. And I give them a thick coat of some black paint just in my apple barrel paint. And then I'm going to wait for them to dry and then attach them onto this cut board or this wood trivet. So I loved how the large farm bold font looked up there and I wanted a smaller little cursive like handwritten fresh uh, below it and this would say farm fresh. I uh, kept messing up and I didn't love it so I absolutely love to take a pencil on wood pieces like this and kind of sketch it out. If it's a lighter piece you can use a pencil and then if it's a darker piece where pencil will not show up you can use a white chalk and paint over it. But I just wanted to put some little hearts and little uh, vines on here to give it more of a farmhouse look. Once I was really happy with how everything looked and looked sketched out, I'm using uh, one of my Sharpie paint markers. I use these on a ton of projects and I love them. I will link them down below if you are interested. On Amazon you can pick up a three pack of them. Um, so like I say, I will put them down below. This paint always dries super fast, but I made sure that it was completely dry and then I took my eraser and went over just to make sure that any uh, pencil marks were removed. Uh, I just think this is so cute and this was just a simple little upgrade to give it more of a little farmhouse chic vibe. Um, and just for now, I styled this with one of my little DIY jars. Um, I'll link that down below. And then I got this really cool little farmhouse diffuser from Walmart. I have been loving using a diffuser and then it is so cute with my farmhouse decor. 
And then next, I picked up one of these white metal colanders. They also offered this in black. This was a little bit more pricey. It was $5, but it is really nice quality. It's a thick, heavier metal, and I just thought this would be really pretty in any farmhouse kitchen. This might be the most simple uh, DIY that I have made today. Um, and this is takes two seconds. It is so easy. Um, I picked up some of these beautiful eucalyptus leaves and a berry mix um, bouquet. I'm not sure what that one's called. And I just wanted to mix these in together. Um, I thought that I would leave the tags in and then I always remember how annoying it is after you get it all fixed up and you still see the tags. So I try to always make sure that I do remove them. And I'm just going to bend over the stems. I didn't want to use this uh, colander permanently like this just in case I want to switch it up or use it in a hutch or a different area of my house. I didn't want to keep this bouquet forever. So if you want a more permanent, stable um, look, you can add a piece of styrofoam from the Dollar Tree or something down in this. But uh, for me, this is going to go up high and nobody will touch it. So I am just going to set my little greenery um, pieces or floral pieces down inside this strainer. I ended up needing a little bit extra and I had some leftover from a project. So I added that in there. And then what makes this really cool is adding these fairy lights. Um, these actually have a really neat timer on them. So I don't have to get in there and turn it on of the evenings. Um, but you can use any type of lights. Dollar Tree has them. Hobby Lobby has them. Michaels. Anywhere. Um, has these really uh, really thin like fairy lights but whenever you put them down into the strainer and I have seen this done on Pinterest before um, they look so pretty shining through the little holes of the colander especially setting in your kitchen of the evenings and just makes your home look really cozy You can't really tell it with my bright light shining on it um, whenever I'm making this, but here I try to show you in a more dim light and then with the lights off, it's not the best quality, but you can see how cute this is with those little strainer holes shining through. So let me know down below which one of these little projects was your favorite. Like I say, these are super, super simple because these items were a little bit more pricey than actually uh, using Dollar Tree items. I wanted to keep them uh, very minimal so you didn't have to glue a bunch of items together and spend a ton of money. I just wanted to be able to tweak these just a little bit so that they would fit better into my farmhouse decor. I always get a ton of questions about what's behind me. I did purchase this table from Ross. It was around 1.30. It's been a few months now maybe even a year ago I've had it quite a while and then um, the tobacco basket came from Walmart in their spring collection I just purchased this new little windmill I moved my DIY windmill to another area so I just purchased this little one to stand up uh, behind me and then I got this beautiful little wooden create sign uh, from Burke's outlet the windmill also came from Burke's outlet but I thought this was so cute it's like farmhouse, but it says create, and I know I already purchased uh, the word create, but that's something that can go in my craft room, but I feel like this is something that I could just set around with my everyday decor. I just thought it was super cute. This little candle holder came from Big Lots, and I am burning a coconut and driftwood candle from Kirkland's. That is my absolute favorite scent that they have in the summertime. I did get some comments about where I've been. I did take a little bit of a break to enjoy my summer, and we're trying to get in vacations and things like that uh, with three small children I'm sure you understand it's everything that I can do to get to craft but I love it I love 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 to craft and make things and bring you all these videos so make sure you are subscribed give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye